Hey all you fundamentals of engineering exam takers, today I want to talk quick about the calculator. So you might be thinking this is kind of a silly thing to talk about, but you know, maybe it's not. Let's take a look at why. So here's a quick question, right? What happens, and you know, maybe this is a question you'd see on the exam. So what's the solution to the following expression? 8 divided by 2, you know, in parentheses 2 plus 2. So you have four options, same kind of thing that you might see on the exam. So to do that, you know, let's just plug it into our calculator. What do we get? Well, in a TI-25X Solar, we get, you know, we punch it all in. Uh-oh, there looks like a 22 there. That doesn't look right, but let's keep going. Punch it in exactly as it's, as it's written. We get one-third. Okay, let's go to a TI-85. Well, in a TI-85, we plug it in just as it's written, and we get one. Okay, two different TI calculators, same thing typed in, two different answers. Okay, let's go to a TI-30X, and this happens to be one of the ones that's approved for use, and we type it all in. 16 okay and then we go through uh, let's try the the windows calculator we type it all in something's funny's going on with that too we keep going with the parentheses punching everything in just the way it's written and we get two okay you'll notice there's a two missing there somewhere so at the end of the day we come back here and what do we get so we have you know we have our 0.33 we have our you know one we have um, are two and we also have our 16 so which one's right well the the reality is they're all sort of right in one sense but they're all sort of wrong right this question this expression is is vague we don't know whether the whole you know quantity of two times two plus two is divided you know into the eight or just do we follow strict order of operations go eight divided by two which is four and then you know times two plus two which is four so the expression is a poor expression so hopefully in the fe you won't have any bad questions but regardless you need to know how to use your calculator and you need to know what it's doing with it when you with the order of operations and how it works so the fe you know doesn't really matter you can use a casio fx 115 if you like reverse polis notation go ahead go with an hp 33 um, if you like you know the standard kind of ti go with the ti 30x there's different models some of the different features and it doesn't really matter as long as it's on this list as long as it's approved so make sure it's approved make sure it works and don't be like one of my students who showed up to an exam literally took a calculator out of a package and said um can you help me figure out how to use this <laughs> so that didn't work so well for him but what i would suggest is you get one practice with it and then hey go buy a second one you know the ti30x you can pick them up for like 10 bucks at walmart or on amazon you know but the nice thing about walmart is if you don't use it it's still in its package you know buy it pick it up for the exam bring it back when you're done you'll still have one that you use day to day the one you didn't use uh it's you, you can bring back but if you do need it during the exam it's there so hey those are my tips and tricks for you but regardless Buy a calculator, know how to use it, practice using it, all right? Hey, so I hope this helps, and I look forward to hearing from you. Feel free to drop a comment if you think you have the right answer, but otherwise, keep working hard and moving onward and upward.